Okay, welcome to action seven and action eight. Okay, with this, this is where you actually start communicating with your school counselor. This is very important that you build a strong relationship with your school counselor, okay? And you need to do it as soon as possible. So probably no more than a month into high school of your freshman year, you need to be doing this. Of course, if you're in higher grades and you just started the process, do it ASAP, okay? But this way you can start meeting and discussing future plans for yourself. And that way your counselor can help guide you and give maybe certain recommendations for you because they may or may not know the protocol for you to be a student athlete. They may and they should know the protocol to be a student, but obviously playing a college sport changes the perspective a little bit. So you need to make sure that you are open and honest with your, with your counselor and say, hey, this is what I would like to do. I'd like to play college athletics. And that way you can now have him or her support you in that venture. So making sure you build that relationship, be personal, be polite. And that way they will want and have an invested interest in helping you. Okay. And that way this also puts you in the best position moving forward. Because it will show that you're serious about actually going on to play college and trying to get a higher level education. Okay. And I want you to remember this. Your actions will speak louder than words. You can sit in your room, for example, and tell mom and dad, yes, I'm going to go do this. But you need to actually go implement it. Okay. Because a lot of student athletes will talk, but they won't actually take action. So go ahead and do what you need to do. Okay. Action eight, and this is really important as well. You need to have a game film and or highlight clips. Both are good. I would recommend if you're only going to have one, you want to have game film. I have seen coaches actually recruit players from just game film. Okay, They'll actually watch game film only and then recruit players. It's happened and it will continue to happen. Okay, If you have a highlight video, it should give a quick snippet of your overall level. Don't put things in there that are like training if you're a field player, right? They want to see game clips. And always, 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 this is very, very important, put your best clips first. I had an interview recently with a top college coach, and they said, on average, they're only going to watch one to two minutes of a highlight clip or a highlight video, okay? So you need to put those best action moments in first. So, for example, if you play as a number 10 and you're hitting defense splitting passes, put those in first, right? They need to see that that's what you're capable of doing because you don't know how long they're going to watch, okay? So make sure you do that. Here are some tips for you. You want to make sure they're no longer than four minutes. Again, make sure it looks professional because otherwise they're going to delete it. Like I mentioned a second ago, make sure you put the best highlights at the beginning, and if possible, use an application or a service that will highlight you or draw a circle around you every time you're in the middle of those highlights. So that way the coach knows directly where you are. Make sure you create an introduction that introduces key details like your graduation year, your name, your team name, your jersey number and position. Because this is, this is critical information for your coach or potential future coach. Music is totally up to you. Many coaches will mute the sound. And um, if they don't, please do not use ex explicit language. That will turn them off considerably and probably end up removing you from the recruiting list. Okay, so let's get ready for the next action. See you in the next video.